making a life worth living in retirement worth having is about the people in our lives. It's about the people that we love. It's about the people that we need. It's about the people that really make our lives tick. You see, in life, we have moments of time to make a difference for someone. Sometimes just letting them sit in a cafe and have a moment of time where they're not any pressure to buy or sell or do anything else is the greatest gift we can give them. When we start to think that it's not right, we have to look at how often do we sell something to someone every single day. We don't always sell the same thing to them every single day. We don't always sell the same money to them every day. And what we're really doing here is talking about life. In life, we have moments of time to make a difference for someone. Everyone has to make a living in order to make a retirement. And everyone has to have a retirement in order to live. You see, if you run out of money, you're in trouble. And that's what people are needing to learn today is how do we make money? How do we ensure that we have a job for the lifetime? How do we have enough social skills to make sure we don't piss off our bosses and we manage up? That's really what we need to be talking about today and with politicians is how to maintain and keep work employment situations. How do we develop relationships and target politely or selectively the right people for our lives in order to make sure we're aligning ourselves with the Lord's plan for our life. Not everyone is set out to be a derelict of some kind, but sometimes life hits us hard and then we don't know where to go for help and what to do because when we do go there, we don't find the help that we're promised. We don't see that it's matching what's online and we certainly don't know what to do if we don't find what we're looking for at those locations that are supposedly marketing what we're after. In life, we have moments of time to make all the difference in the world. I say this regularly. It's because when you lose somebody that's so significant, you never ever recover. Whether that's losses through someone's transition to heaven or whether it's they've moved on in life or they've moved away physically. It's still about finding that soul-keeping aspect of our lives. Now, when I talk about soul-keeping, I'm talking about the people who raise us up, who lift up our hearts, who help our souls to sing, and literally who look out for us and protect us in life. Thanks for listening.